up to a trillion, with a T, cicadas, are expected to emerge from the Midwest to the Southeast over a 16 state region. And if that sounds like a lot more than what you've usually heard or seen during summertime, it is. This season, two broods of cicadas will appear in a rare event known as a dual emergence. And this is the first time since 1803 these two particular broods have emerged at the same time. So I'm gonna try to avoid looking at the video. In the meantime, Michael Ralph is a professor emeritus of entomology at the University of Maryland. Thank you for joining us. Um, I, I'm very squeamish about this all, but I also have a lot of questions. Oh. I know this hasn't happened okay. in a while. So what are we in for? Oh, Lauren, it's gonna be okay, I promise. Okay, it's great. okay to be a little squeamish. But there's there's gonna be a billion bugs out of the ground. Let's let's face it, that's a lot of bugs. So what are we in for? Well, back in 2021, we had what we called the big brood. That was also a very large and widespread brood. But hey, guess what? This year we got two broods coming up simultaneously. As you said, it didn't happen since the Louisiana purchase back in 1803. So in 15 states ranging all the way from Maryland, sweeping down through the South to Alabama, Georgia, then up through the Midwest, we're gonna have what we call brood 19. These cicadas emerge every 13 years. Up in Illinois and five other states in the Midwest, we're gonna have what we call brood eight. Uh, they're gonna be very dense and in places in Illinois, guess what? Those guys are gonna get a real treat because they're getting both broods in the in the state of Illinois this year. It's gonna be spectacular, dramatic. Oh so my goodness. It's, it's gonna be epic. We've had an epic celestial event. Hey, this is gonna be an epic entomological event. It's, so it's, get ready. It's back to back. I mean, this is, this is big for science. Uh, I, I guess I'm wondering yeah. why is this so rare? Well, it's rare because, uh, first of all, we usually have almost in any given year, we'll have a brood of cicadas appearing somewhere in the nation. Mm. There are only a few, as we say, rare examples. Hey, the last time this happened was 36 years ago. We had two broods out of the ground in the same place. So this only happens every 13 times 17 years, which is 221 years that we have broods adjacent to each other in the same region emerging at the same time. That's why it's so rare. Unbelievable. Uh, what it effect is. do cicadas have on the ecosystem? Like, what's their job? Oh, man, that's a great question. Basically, these are little geniuses of transferring energy. Think about it. For 17 years or 13 years, they've been feeding underground, sucking sap of plants. They've been growing, getting bigger. When they come up out of the ground, everything on the planet is gonna wanna eat a cicada. So the birds are gonna go nuts. The small mammals are gonna go nuts. Some people that eat cicadas are gonna go nuts. So they're gonna transfer energy through food webs and the birds are gonna have a heyday this year. All the little creatures that like to eat insects are gonna be smiling big. You know, this is so interesting because I was chatting with a friend and we were c complaining, honestly, uh, about this happening. And she told me, she was like, one landed on me accidentally and it was sticky. Yeah. And it freaked her out that it was sticky. So I guess, oh. is that true based on this, the sap and all that? Well, no, it's not the sap that makes them sticky. Uh, they've got little what we call tarsi, little claws on the bottom of their feet, and this helps them to grip onto plants and things. So I think that that getting stuck was simply a matter of those little little hooks getting stuck in some clothing. So oh no foul there. One interesting thing though, because they'll process so much liquid from those plants, that excess, excess liquid is gonna get squirted out and form a little bit of a mist underneath those trees. So if you're out to watch these things, bring your umbrella, like the old Credence Clearwater Revival song, it will be raining on a sunny day if you stand under a tree with cicadas. <laughs> I love I love the incorporation of the lyric, that's good. All right, um, and I guess that's one tip that you're giving us, come with an umbrella if you're gonna be watching this. Right. What else should we be doing well, during this time? Kidding. What am I gonna be doing during this time? Well, what I'm gonna be doing is heading to Southern Maryland because in Southern Maryland, we have the brood 19 cicadas out of the ground in just one very remote part of our state. So I'll be doing a road trip with a bunch of my buddies. We'll go down there, hang out with the cicadas, find out if they survive for 13 years and just say hi, really enjoy these things. 
Oh, I, okay, that's like kind of nice. Just say hi. That sounds like a lovely time. Well, yeah, yeah that's nice. You and want to chill out. <laughs> and chill out. Enjoy the rare event, as we've learned. Entomologist Michael Raup, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your insight. We certainly appreciate it.